The gangster suddenly slipped his hand, a flashlight fell on the floor, the girl immediately turned the lamp head around. The flashlight was immediately picked up by the gangster, I thought I had escaped a disaster, but a gangster seems to have discovered something, unexpectedly, the light suddenly turned on, the girl immediately retracted her feet, the robber is right in front of us, the girl's toes are tight, nervous and unable to breathe, just when he thought he was about to be discovered, the gangster's gaze was all on the bed, turns out it's their boss, seriously injured, lie in bed and rest, tell the boys that they are okay, wait until this order is completed before calling a doctor, tell the third person to clean up the blood stains, let the second person take care of themselves, the second person couldn't bear to see the gasping boss, then he took out his chair, and checked his first aid knowledge on the computer, but I accidentally knocked off the girl's bag, the girl looked at the bag at hand, made a bold decision, he picked up the handle of the umbrella, slowly and carefully hooked the bag, unexpectedly, the hook is too thick, I tried several times but failed, the girl has run out of patience, unexpectedly stretching out his head to retrieve it, but unexpectedly, the boss hand suddenly dropped, almost touched the girl's face, Fortunately, at this moment, someone outside is calling for the second son. The girl didn't hesitate, pulling the bag in front of one cell. The second asked the third to help lift the bed, stop the bleeding for the boss. Subsequently, they are on both sides of the bed, place two stacks of books, and then prepare to lift your feet up. It's too late for the girl to send a distress message on her phone at this moment, just as he was about to be discovered. But the gangsters found out that the hostess was a doctor. Not for a moment, a woman was sent in. Due to professional ethics, the woman carefully examined the boss wound. The girl took this opportunity to input a distress message at the time of sending, but the phone ran out of battery, and at this point, the woman accidentally dropped her watch. When I squatted down to pick it up, I found a strange girl, but he didn't speak up. Let the two little brothers go and fetch themselves wastewater and debris. After everything is ready, the woman pulled out the glass from the boss body, use a rag to stop the bleeding from the wound. After processing, the gangster tied him and his son together on the bed and my father was taken good care of by the robbers, wearing suits and leather shoes, do you think it was the robber colluded with his father, actually, the robber wanted to use his father's identity as the bank manager to securely ransack the bank, after they drove away, the room gradually fell into silence, the girl thought the boss was no longer good, just wanted to get up, the happy second brother came in with the catalyst, prepare to burn down this house, completely eliminate all traces, and at this point, the girl noticed that she also had an alarm clock next to her, and the time to think about it is only 90 seconds away, the girl under the bed keeps moving her body, afraid of making a slight noise, turns out it's because two thugs are right next to me, I saw him pick up the alarm clock, take advantage of the gangster's lack of attention, roll him aside in the corner, as the countdown ends, the alarm clock rings, the girl sees the opportunity for the gangster to be attracted by the alarm clock, successfully slipped out of the room, second, get out of here, when I want to go out, I bump into my neighbor who is visiting, but this is not a girl's house, he doesn't know whether the man in front of him is good or bad, so he hurriedly left, I went to the bedroom and found my boyfriend, and his mother tied to the bed, the excited girl plans to use scissors to cut off her boyfriend's handcuffs, and at this point, but a strange sound came from the living room, turns out it was a neighbor who walked in, hear no response, neighbors walk into the bedroom, the girl had to hide in the restroom first, two heard a sound, picking up a wooden stick and encountering a neighbor in the bedroom, and the neighbors haven't realized how dangerous this man is yet, I saw my second son pounding heavily on my neighbor, until the neighbors are not in shape, the second person is willing to stop, then he picked up a blanket and covered it on his neighbor's head, entered the bathroom, looking at one's own face, the second one is filled with remorse, impulse caused me to carry another life on my back, I saw the man take out a lighter, continuously burning on the dagger, then he cut a wound on his arm with a knife, every scar represents a human life, the second brother uses pain to warn himself, don't be impulsive, not for a while, he laughed proudly again, tell yourself to be a powerful person, I didn't even know that the way he fell alone was being seen by the girls, just as he was about to lose his grip, the second person finally left the bathroom, walked to the bedroom, arriving in front of my boyfriend, get rid of his head here, tell him about his abnormal philosophy, and at this point, the girl tiptoed out of the bathroom, I opened my thigh in the bathroom, looking towards the gate at hand, the girl is extremely hesitant, can you think of your boyfriend, he ultimately chose to muster the courage and swear to rescue them, and at this point, the second son is close to his boyfriend's mother, prepare to be in front of your boyfriend, start your own freak show, what this perverted man loves to do the most, it's just smelling the scent on a woman's body, after he looked up and down, gently stroking the old woman's calf with her hand, then he eagerly picked up her feet with his hand, take an excited gulp, just as the second one was about to speak up, the girl quietly walked behind him, a pair of scissors pierced the second person's back, but this is not fatal enough, the girl was pinned against the wall by her second son, ready to be strangled, I saw him put one hand against the second man's face, kick the second person in the stomach, take the opportunity to escape, jumped into the attic in front of the boss. Subsequently, move the box and seal the entrance and exit. 
The second person saw this and moved up the stairs, then used an electric drill to drill open the box bit by bit. When the second person goes upstairs, but I found out that the girl was missing, just as the second son was confused, the girl suddenly jumped out of the darkness, leap down the entrance and exit with ease, then lock it with an umbrella. But the woman's grandeur hasn't taken a few breaths yet. I found myself getting better from being pointed at by a gun. He asked the girl to tell him a joke. If satisfied, it will be released. Girl, you are at your post in Bayarding. After listening, boss, choose to give up one horse. The girl who escaped the disaster first thought of my boyfriend. Then he broke the glass, wrap it in cloth, successfully cut open the shackles of his boyfriend and his mother. But my mother saw the neighbor's body. But I can't control my emotions. Cry in pain. The loud shouting attracted the attention of the criminals. The mother and son were then controlled by the bandits who rushed in, and the girl happened to escape a disaster. Climb up the stairs to the attic. Next second, come in bald, just missed the girl, then hand in the catalyst in the room. Take out the lighter, prepare to burn it off. Here, the girl pulled crossbows and arrows on the attic to stop her bald head. An arrow hit his heart, but before his bald head died, he still lit a lighter. The woman quickly broke the window, jump off the second floor, one sword solved the patrolling gangster, and then rescue the kidnapped father, then put on the gangster's mask and gun pretending to be an accomplice, deceiving the newly released dick, just as the girl was about to solve her second problem. My boyfriend's father came to him from behind the girl, wait a minute it's so slow, what no, no, today. Subsequently, the second man aimed at the girl and pulled the trigger, with a gunshot, the one who died was the second son. It turned out that the boss took his good brother before he died, facing a girl with a gun, boyfriend, father dare not act recklessly, continuously persuading girls not to do foolish things, just when the girl didn't know what to do. Mother walked out, one shot, ending my husband's life.